here I am on a uh, 4th of July. Uh, I'll be walking toward this way. Welcome to the Charles River Esplanade. Who needs the help of map in your own city or do I? This year, 4th of July, it's kind of uh, interesting because, uh, see, you know, it's pretty empty. Usually, it's packed. Oh, I see the main attraction where you can see the, the you know, the firework and everything. Let's uh, check it out. And right there, I was shooting the film earlier. On one side are the people reading and relaxing. On the other side, the vibrant individuals who are trying their best to keep up with schedule. building uh, that I kind of like. I don't think it's a, I don't know if it's a famous building or something, but uh, I like it. The uh, design and uh, architecture. Here I am uh, at this uh, another great spot for uh, viewing the uh, Charles River and the bridge. Ah, the floating dock. A little slippery under my shoes upon entering but I felt just fine when I was welcomed by a calm breeze and a panoramic view. Uh, and uh, we are close to the place where uh, Boston Pops usually play on 4th of July. Uh, here we are. I saw this house uh, many times uh, passing by, but uh, I never saw it from this angle. So I took a video of it. That's the T. Red line. Oh, uh, with this one, I couldn't resist to not take a video of this. That was the uh, famous Boston Duck Tour bus. Yeah, so the word for that is uh, amphibious, right? Right. The other word I was looking for was semi-aquatic and from this side to the other, I made a short leap. Here I am on the other side of the Charles River. Let's uh, begin. A soft sunlight at last that a day like Independence Day deserves. And usually this is how they do it uh, in uh, Boston, Cambridge. Uh, they close the road uh, for uh, 4th of July. Normally, uh, I wouldn't be able to get a shot like this. And that's because it's usually closed during the uh, normal days. And just like that, this video has come to the end. Thanks for checking out.